Hi everyone, today's video is going to be another update on my swatching through my lip product collection. We're going to declutter some things probably. I'm going to do 10 lip products. If you want to know some of the thoughts behind this, I can link, I'm going to link my original video down below as well as just my whole declutter playlist if you're like in a mood. I don't know. I Sorry, I always have like a couple of hairs that don't part right. I sometimes get in like that mood to watch every declutter I can find. So I'll just link my whole playlist down below. Um, can we just be honest? I'm not loving the look we have. I tried, I have my original gingerbread spice palette, not the extra spicy. And I was going in with a spiced rum and it's so flaky and it like wouldn't stay. And then I tried to put Oh Snap on the lid and it did it just, you know, some days it doesn't work out the way you think it's gonna. Um, but that's fine. You know, I'm still gonna film. And I've decided to put some glitter liner on because I figure glitter liner makes everything better, right? Yeah, we can all agree with that. So, let's go into it. Uh, let's start swatching. All right, I'm just gonna pull. This, oh yes, this is the Ciate London, um, I don't know, the, the what do you call it? The, like writing has worn off but it's the Ciate London liquid lipstick in the shade Diva so let's see I know this mo we used a red liquid lipstick for my sister's wedding it's very pigmented it doesn't smell bad I'm smelling though all because you know lip products smell bad when they go off Mm -hmm. I think starting with a liquid lipstick was a bold choice. But you know, it's only made. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. I like that a lot. I love red. I love a red lip. I love this liquid lipstick, yes. So that's going in the keep pile. Like I said, starting with a liquid lipstick is a, is a bold choice. Uh, so there you go. I also have glitter all over my face, so much so that I like washed my face after I did my makeup, which I don't usually do. It was just, you know, it's just one of those days where you're like, I don't know what we're doing. Okay. <laughs> this is a green metallic lipstick. So, 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 from Maybelline. It's in the shade Serpentine. I got this. So, in Savannah, where I got my master's, um, like, St. Patrick's Day is a really big deal. Like, most place, like most businesses and stuff uh, shut down for St. Patrick's Day. And they have a like four hour long parade and then they have a lot of arm service people and you kiss them on the cheek. It's just a thing. Um, and somebody at the parade gave me green lipstick. So that's how I have this. There you go. That's, that's the life I live. All right. I just don't know how often I'm gonna need a green metallic lipstick. It's like one of those things you don't wear until you need it, you know? And then you regret getting it away, I feel like. And I try not to have that mindset. Well, it's green. I'm just, like, I just don't think I'm ever gonna wear that. But I also like, I'm like, well, it's not a, like, if I want a green lipstick, it's a good one. Like, it's very opaque. It's got a little bit of shimmer. I like it. I just don't think I'm ever going to wear it. And I kind of want to get past keeping things in my collection just in case I want it. Like, I've definitely done that with a lot of things. Like, well, what if I want to make a video trying to dupe something and I have one shade that I don't have anywhere else except for this palette. And so I'm working really hard on getting over that. And though I love to be fun with makeup, I just don't think green lipstick is for me. So we're going to put it in the no. Plus, 
I think, was that my last year at, in Savannah that I got that one? I think it was. So that was, or was it my second to last year? I don't know. But either way, I graduated um, from my master's in 2018. So it's like two years old, at least. Maybe three. I'm not sure. I feel like one year we didn't go out for St. Patrick's Day. Okay, this is the Read My Lips lip gloss by The Balm in the shade um, Bam. I think that's the shade name. It's a little mini. I'm pretty sure I got this when I had Birchbox or Ipsy or something. It still smells good. It smells really good. Got a little bit of a green tip to my lips. And from a red liquid lipstick to a green metallic lipstick, you know. We're just pulling out randomly. I said this in my past videos, but just to reiterate, I don't like to layer lip products. I don't. I want to be able to just put something on and use it by itself. So that's my preference. I know you can layer lip products, but I don't want to do that. And as I've already said, like so much of my stuff is old that I'm just not really interested in giving it away. Like I would feel bad. Hmm. I don't know. I think that's pretty. Yeah, I think that's pretty. I think we're gonna keep that one. All right. So two in the keep, one in the get rid of pile. I would like to make a lot of progress as far as getting rid of a lot of things, but mainly I just want to know like what I have. So even if I end up keeping like everything, as long as I know that I actually like the shade of it all, I'm happy, you know? Um, this, I think I'm gonna wear for my wedding. This is the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in the shade Man Eater. I'm having a Christmas wedding, if you don't know. It's so pretty. It's very bright, which I like. It's kind of like hard to get out though. I hope it's not drying up. Girl, you gotta last till December 27th. You got 44 days. We have a wedding countdown on our, right by our sink in the kitchen. I posted pictures of it on Instagram if you want to see that. I love that. I can't believe I did another liquid lipstick right then, but you know, love that. Gotta keep it. Oh, you know, you gotta get it off. <laughs> you know, if I could edit, I guess I know how to edit technically. I just don't have like. I have to do it all on my iPad and that's really annoying to me. And I'm sure I could get a software on my computer and try to do it. But I just don't. Like, I don't have like a good excuse. Like it's just, that's super time consuming and I don't know. I just don't do it. So there you go. That's my answer. Um, this is a Buxom Wildly Whip Soft Matte Lip Color in the shade Centerfold. Let's see about this one. Another matte. I'm gonna have to get on some glosses next because I can't do this. Keep going with the matte liquid lipsticks. Mm -hmm. This is so close to my actual lip color. Like very, very close. Okay, so we're gonna ignore the red around my lips, obviously. I like that though. It's really pretty. It's really comfy. We're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it. Five, five products down. 
We're keeping three. No, we're keeping four. Getting rid of one. There we go. Did y'all hear that? That was kind of my sweet little girl. All right, I'm going for a lip gloss now because I can't keep doing these liquid lipsticks. This is the Maybelline Color Elixir in the shade Hibiscus. I've had this since undergrad, pretty sure. Mm, I don't know about that smell. This is a very milky Baru Hake. I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like it's like gathering weird. It's not super even, you know? Yeah, like it wants to gather on the inside and outside of my lips and then like leave the middle bare. I don't know how well you can tell. I think I think we could get rid of that. I don't think we need that. And it's also a little bright. I don't know. Like I know in the summer sometimes like bright lipstick is fun. But I really like like a darker lipstick. Really. Alright. Let's find another lip gloss, please. This is the Ultra Be Ulta Beauty Mineral Lip Gloss in the shade Sheer Opal. I think this is probably meant to be like a topper gloss, but again, I don't I don't do that. That's not how I wear makeup, so. Oh, it's got a brush tip. I don't like their brushes. I just, I think they're a lot harder to work with. All right. Y'all know I don't hate a metallic lip. I don't. But that's a little much. Yeah, that's a no. That's going in the no pile. That's good. Some things have to go in the no pile. Well, they don't have to, but <laughs> I kind of want some things to go in the no pile. All right. Yo, my lips. Do y'all ever say, I tell, um, like, you know when your feet hurt and you go like, my dogs are barking? Do y'all say that? I think that might be a southern saying. I don't know, but I say it. And so I feel like my lips are barking now. This, look at this beautiful gloss. It's from the Rock Beauty and the Beast collection in the shade Red Rose. Let's see. I love the packaging of the Lorac Beauty and the Beast collection. I absolutely love it. I did, when I got these, I did lip swatch videos. Because this came out right around the same time the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean collection came out. And I bought all of both of those collections. Which I really don't think was a very good idea, if we're being completely honest. I don't. But that's what I did anyway. So, you know, we've grown. That was a couple years ago. That was when I cared more about having a big collection and collecting stuff instead of like actually liking what I owned. It's not bright enough. I mean, I know it's a gloss. I don't love it. I think we can get rid of it. All right. Ah, my lips are hurting, y'all. It's okay. Two more. Two more. Mm. Let's go with this. I used. I did one of these the other day, but I'm gonna do it again. It's the Milani 3D Glitzy Gloss in the shade Putting on the Glitz. They don't make this anymore. Ah. So. It also would be kind of nice to be able to have a collection where y'all can get some of the stuff I talk about. Because a lot of my collection is, I love limited edition stuff. So a lot of my collection is like limited edition. Or retired, because it's old. And sometimes I would like to have some things that it's like, oh, you can actually, I think I can link this and you can buy it. It's a little darker than that sheer opal shade.
I don't love it though. I think I think we're done. I don't think we need that. All right. One more. One more. Hello, Kenya. She's sitting right beside me. All right. Let's. Where I just saw it. Hello. I've kind of moved my lip products so I can make room so I know what I have tried on and what I haven't. It's a little bit of a mess down here, but it's okay. All right, so this is the Fresh Rose, Fresh Sugar Lip Balm in the shade Rose. Sorry, it still smells. Ah, it feels so good. It doesn't really get any color, in my opinion. It feels really nice, though. I think I'm going to keep that, but just for, like, a chapstick, not for, like, an actual lip color. So I'm going to move it to my chapstick area. Yeah. Okay. There we go. So that's our 10 products that we've done today. They're very successful, I would say. We're keeping four. Oh, I'm sorry. We're keeping five. So Smashbox Man Eater, um, Ciate London Diva, Sh Fresh Sugar Rose. Or is it supposed to be rose? I think it's supposed to be rose because it's got a little accent on the E. The Buxom Centerfold and the Balm Read My Lips and Bam. So we're keeping five. And we're getting rid of five. So, I mean, that's 50% of this chunk gone. We're getting rid of Milani Put on the Glitz. This is so old. We're getting rid of the Lorac Beauty and the Beast in Red Rose. It's beautiful, but I just, I don't love it. Um, the Ulta Mineral Lip Gloss in Sheer Opal. This green lipstick that I could just sit in my collection and use maybe two more times before it just goes so rancid. It's disgusting. I don't need to keep that. And honestly, I don't want to be that person that has that. Or like, if I ever need a green lipstick again, I can just like make it work with eyeshadow. You know, that's fine. And then the Maybelline New York and Hibiscus. This is so old, so old. So, feeling good about that. These five go, they're in the garbage. Cause again, COVID. Also, lips are hard to, like they're hard to sanitize and they're old. So I know that some people hate throwing away makeup. I don't feel great about it. You know, the environment's in, in peril. But all I can say is I know that I have become so, so, so much better. I'm a whole different person when it comes to buying makeup. So it's okay. It, this will not happen again. But I'm happy about that. Feeling good. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, please leave any questions, requests, suggestions, or comments down below. And I'll see you real soon. Bye.